Welcome back to the channel. My name is Carvin. Today, we're going to be jumping into the Super Archers and Mass Yeti attack, which has been coined by Torilla Tavatan called the TT Smash. They did it over in the last chance qualifiers, and I invited them here to the channel to talk about the attack and how it works. So let's go ahead and meet the guys. I have the players from Torilla Tavatan here joining me, and they're going to teach me exactly how to try this new TT Smash. Welcome, guys. How are you guys doing? Hi, Carbon. Hi, everyone. Hello, Carbon. Hey, Rick. Hello, Carbon. ODS, you guys have been trying this, and I know we asked you about the attack strategy when you guys were in the last chance qualifiers, so talk me through it. So what I'm going to try to do right here is they gave me the army link. I have the clan castle, all the spells, and I'm going to go and click attack, right? So I'm in. I'm going to give it a shot. They have told me nothing of how to do this. So I'm going just based off seeing some examples of what they did from the last chance qualifier. And if any of you are watching uh, this and you say, Carbon, you're doing this completely wrong, tell me, right? And so we're, we, I just want to learn how to do this attack strategy. We have the quad quake. I guess the biggest question was why the quad quake and because itsu was talking about saying you should maybe bring a jump you'll get a little bit more value but please feel free to uh further explain that i'm just gonna give it a try we're gonna go with the yetis and and with the okay. super archers let's see okay. what happens here with uh yeah quad quake costa you want to answer that one <clears throat> yeah well uh it's was thinking that it's not so flexible uh with the uh, uh quad quakes uh but we disagree because uh, this army is something that can behave every time differently. So with the quakes, uh, you can do lots of things. If your army is going in the wrong place, uh, you can just open from there and bring everybody to the town hall. Or if everything goes as planned, you are just kind of weaken the town hall at it, and it should go down really quickly. So, so those are the main... One of the yeah, go ahead, things just, one of the things yeah. that Carbon did was he quaked early, um, and he opened up that town hall box. Uh, this is a base, you know, as as Pastor was saying, and your troops can go anywhere. Um, yeah. And we see that most of his troops headed down towards the 730 area, the south side of the town hall. Um, with the quakes, you have a lot of flexibility. You can bring your troops back towards the town hall. You can open up different areas. You can also do a lot of extra damage to buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know that quakes do damage to the Giga, to Expos and such. Um, and look at Carbon, he's already nailing it. <laughs> One of the mm -hmm. first things that Costa told me I was doing wrong was quaking too early. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure you're waiting until you know when you need <clears throat> to quake. And, okay. um, and don't open up that Giga, you know, to, to uh, start firing on your, your troops too soon. What was your reason for coming in with his attack strategy? I know, I think it was on Twitter where you said that you maybe were thinking about doing this before, but you wanted to save it for the last chance qualifier. That That's exactly it. That, um, you know, we, we knew that we had a reputation of being uh, drag cloners uh, mm -hmm. or Inferno Baby spammers. Um, and we anticipated that you know, people would build to defend us, uh, uh, defend those attacks. Okay. So we came up with this. Uh, Vane, Vane found it first. Um, Costa really drilled us on it. Uh, and we've done lots and lots of FCs over the past uh, two months, you know, just working on this. Mm -hmm. And we all have slightly different nuances to how we do it. Yeah. Um, Costa and I tend to bring a jump, you know, mm -hmm. um, help the king alongside the main troops. Vane tends to go all in, much like you just did. Yeah. You know, with most of the troops uh, right in the middle, just heading downwards. What would you say I could do better? So you no know, playing on the bases, like I just hit it like kind of legend style, and I've never done the attack before. And uh, and you were saying this is probably like the perfect base for it. So is the reason why this the perfect base because it's like a like a square base, rectangular base where everything kind of naturally pushes its way in. Uh, what makes this like a perfect base for this attack strategy? And because it, when I had all these skeleton spells, I was like. Oh, I forgot that I had the skellies. Let me just drop it to try to provide some distraction. You can use the quakes in the middle of the base. Just open the single compartment. Oh. Okay. So you can uh, weaken all those uh, big defenses in the middle. Oh. Okay. And it will 
go uh, go down really quickly. Let's now talk about a base that ODS, he hit here in the last chance qualifier. And unfortunately, this base, he did one star. So I really want to get your thought, uh, ODS, on what kind of happened? What went wrong? What would you have changed in this attack here? You know, I run this attack a slightly differently from how Vane runs it, how you okay. just ran it. Yeah. Uh, uh, basically, I want my Yetis spread across the face that I'm entering. Okay. Um, I want my super archers, my queen and warden working together. Yeah. With my king, uh, a couple of yetis um, taking an edge. Okay. And then with the jump, I'm looking to get him further down mm -hmm. with the RC. Uh, so on this base, you know, I'm breaking in at uh, one o'clock mm -hmm. and having the main troops go there. Yeah. I'm going to have my, right, my log launcher work in between the king and the super archers. Yeah that it opens up a nice pathway for the main troops um and then my my king is working from three down towards 430 and my rc joins him so you see that i started with a uh, loon and a minion on two sets of mortars um the purpose of that was to create a bit of a funnel for my king to make sure my king went into the RC, uh, the aq compartment mm -hmm. um i've got the super archer at 12 start setting a bit of a funnel there the Yetis are spread wide. My super archers are in tight. Um, Queen and Warden are down together. The log launcher is set in between. I've got a couple of Yetis and the King working towards the Queen compartment. Um, everything is generally fine right now. Yep. Uh, the Skellies are down doing a bit of tanking both for the main troops and for mm -hmm. my King. I had an ice golem going with my King, just knowing that uh, there was likely to be a lot of DPS in there, possibly Tesla as I expected there. Yep. Um, my RC comes in and flanks. All right, now pause right there at the okay. two minute and seven second mark. Um, yep. That's my first slight error. Okay. I missed, I missed the poison right there. Um, ah, okay. I could have poisoned the super minions. I had wanted to drop a skelly on the whiz tower in the king compartment at this point. And that was supposed to tank the scatter, the king, and a couple of the point defenses around. Mm -hmm. um, but I was down to one skelly at this point. Yeah. So I held on to it and I'm watching my RC and I didn't see that my queen got locked onto by the single. Ah, yep. But that right there, you see that I dropped the skelly late. Ah, yeah. And, because and you wanted that I queen ability the for the town hall, essentially. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Once you get the queen mistake. ability up to the town hall, she's down. The, yeah. the, the town hall is down yeah. and there's no issue, you know? Uh, the okay. the yep. poison is so strong that a lot of spam, spammy type attacks, you know, at town hall 13, yeah. We often would do Pekka smashes through the town hall, okay, um, and that would be fine. Yeah, but you can't really do that at 14 because the Giga Poison is so strong. They've thrown up another base for me to try here. I'm gonna talk through my plan after listening to what they were talking about, and what I'm gonna try to do is save the earthquake for later, like they said. But the biggest threat that I'm seeing we have is well, we have the king next to an eagle artillery. This could be a really hard section to get through. But if I'm going with the initial thought process of coming across from the town hall, I want to probably take the seagull artillery down as quick as possible. I'm thinking, hey, if I'm hey, if I'm wrong, feel free to say, hey, Garvin, no, do do this or do that. This would be better. But I'm thinking potentially, I want to come across from this eagle right here. I could do that, and then I could get my way into this middle, which has the scatter shot and multis, which that could be a problem. I could see here. But if the big issue I think I need to do, we got this archer tower, this cannon. Was if I was to maybe do it like, if I was to get the king to go like this, I wall break him in, use a skeleton, get him into here, and then I like wall break him out, and then like bring them back through here or something. Um, I'm thinking maybe I go like this into the base, out of the base, back in, through here, across, and just like force everything through here and then what i could potentially do is use a skeleton uh maybe spells over here but we do have a lot of splash let's go yeti here and let's go uh king super wall break let's go with the view here and a super wall break will go down there and then we go with some warden log launcher through here and then i noticed there's two balloons in this army and i'm wondering uh, why is there necessary two balloons in here? Is there... Costa, Costa likes those as a uh, backup uh, on the backside. Okay. Yeah. 
because uh, usually your RC might be just dying and you mm -hmm. can save her with those two loans or something. Uh, and they are really flexible, even with the cleanup. You can gotcha. pick up if an needed. Edge mortar. You can pick up an edge mortar that uh, that will guide your RC towards more valuable defenses. Um, well, let's use some poison and wakes here. Yeah, let's see. So I got some free spells. All right, you're gonna need to freeze the Giga. Yeah. yeah. You also have an ice cone in area too. Oh, true. I didn't even think about the ice cone being over there. That ice cone can freeze. I want to freeze that multi over there. Yep. Okay. Back. The queen is still no. up. Now we're seeing uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and now, now you can use those two loons from the mortar at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I use yeah, one on the mortar there. One. Yeah. yeah, a bit sooner and you could have it taken down that archer draw also. Okay, true. Okay. Hey! Look at this, that. Is, this is looking good. Yeah, I think I, I think I got it with the swag freeze. Look at this. Pop the yeah. ability. And okay, this there is definitely something here. So I'm so um in terms of before when I was doing the very first attack, I was thinking, okay, I'm just trying to drop my skeletons to distract all the buildings so that my troops can go through, but not necessarily. You can really use skeletons mainly to help protect that royal champion through sections yeah. and keep her moving through. And so, exactly. okay. You saw how much she got through. You know? Yeah, um, absolutely. Just the skelly spells, uh, almost naked, on her yep. own, looking through mm -hmm. that whole 9 o'clock area, um, yeah. all the way down to the Giga, and then up towards 3. And we were just talking about the CC troops here. And ODS, you mentioned that we, I'm seeing here, we got, I got the Barbarian, the Sneaky Goblin, the Valkyrie. I wasn't really thinking about it all too much. I was like, okay, this is what you recommended. This is what you said. But each one of these troops has a purpose. And uh, so what, what exactly is the purpose of each one of these CC troops here? Yeah, when we, when we first started doing these attacks, um, you know, we went with the typical two Yetis, Valk and Barb. Um, but what we found is that, you know, with an ice golem and a log launcher, mm -hmm. that delayed freeze later on that it gives you can be really valuable. Mm -hmm. um, so the ice golem's there, the yeti's there, uh, the valve is there in case there are any skellies generally around the giga that might distract your queen. Uh, she helps to clear those very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the sneaky gob, you know, if the log launcher opens up, uh, you know, away from the giga, uh, it runs ahead, it sets off any traps, might bring up those skellies for the valve to kill before she dies. Mm -hmm. uh, and the barb is just the rest of the fill. Okay. Um, makes more sense than an archer. We see that it works on like anti three star styles. How about ring bases? So we're gonna put the ring bases to the test right now and give it a try. All right, best of luck. So feel free to talk about your attack. Yeah, sure. So first, uh, let's make a funnel for my troops. Mm -hmm. I wanna go in the middle of the base. Yep. So I think there is quite good value from three o'clock and six yeah. o'clock. And I know- So you, let's see how it- You've got a lot more freezes. Up. I've took three freezes, but you got five here. So you're taking a lot more. Is that because there's so much defenses and a lot of damage right in that middle there? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Basically, you want want the middle to go down and uh, you don't really need that much skellies there because mm -hmm. there is so much splash damage. Gotcha. Absolutely. All yeah. right. Let's see. So nice one with these super archers. So do you, did you guys do testing exactly? So what is it? How many tiles over a wall can a super archer reach from like standing behind a wall? One, one more than the queen. One more than the queen. Okay. Yeah. So they have just no, one more IQ me. than the queen. Got it. <laughs> one more. Uh, is that right, guys? One more than the warden. Mm -hmm. One more than the queen. One more than one of them. One okay. Well, obviously, it. just a little bit. Yes. A little bit more. Okay. Yes. okay. There we go. So, free. Okay. So a lot of freezes early. I see. So you, okay. Wow. Look at this. A lot of freezes through the section. And the thing is, you got no rages, so you really need to make sure you get your troops into the middle here. Uh, yeah, okay. but uh, on ring bases, you can also bring one rage with you to take okay. the middle down, down even Got faster. It. Yeah, Vane, Vane likes bringing a rage. Okay. Um, I see you got yeah, this. Yeah. yeah, skeletons protecting that royal champion up top. That multi is a little annoying, but you were able to clear that whole yeah. core. 
see more skellies. Okay, you got some a back and balloon there. RC ability. Queen's got her ability. Yeah. Still have the uh -huh. unicorn, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, the unicorn often uh, saves the end of an attack. Yeah. Um, just, yeah. yeah. Even if it moves off of the queen, it just mm -hmm. pops onto the warden, and the warden can clear the rest of it. Yeah. Um, At many times, this attack uh, seems to be uh, like really close that there mm -hmm. is not much left. Yeah. On the on the end. Yeah. Like now, uh, okay. this might be a time time fail. Not yeah. sure. Yeah. No. Uh, that's 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 okay because that's the that's the thing is. is what we want what we want to see is exactly that so what we can try is we see that it ran out of steam towards this so what we want to do is we're always learning right as as clashers we're yeah. always trying to improve so you talked about bringing a rage spell so what if we were trying to bring a rage spell into this attack and try it again to see the value that it could get on a base like this because i think maybe a rage yep, when sure. you get those super archers under rage those probably can absolutely shred bases into a core potentially so it does a lava. So what would be like the worst CC to face? A triple ice golem, lava hound, super minion. Is there a CC that you really don't like to face with this attack strategy? Honestly, yeah. any DPS CC is fine. Okay. Um, the super archers shred uh, hounds and pups pretty quickly too. Yeah. So there's nothing really that slows it up all that much. Mm -hmm. um, we we did testing against triple ice and ice hound, uh, ice golem hound. Yeah. Uh, and it really wasn't an issue either. Um, mm -hmm. The key thing to remember is, um, you know, to use your poison on the pups when when you face a hound, and to yeah. use the poison on the super minions when Got you it. super minion rocket loons you see. Absolutely. Um, you don't generally even need to freeze the rocket loons. They they won't really do all that much to you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah, so we got the Rage Spell in here with the Royal Jam. So the big thing was, now you have your Royal Champion that has a lot more health here because the Super Archers probably were able to help take a lot more of these defenses down. So it's just something that you really want to... Obviously, you don't need to take the same army every single time. You want to adapt it. You want to use either a Rage or maybe some Super Wall Breakers. Maybe you don't need a Super Wall Breaker, right? And so it's all it's very adaptable, right? And But the big thing is, what you were saying is, the Quad Quake is very important especially on a base like this when you might think it's not because you want that damage onto those defenses through that area so the super archers when they shoot their arrows it can help hit those and take those down a lot easier so very very great point i like it a lot yeah well that's gonna wrap up this video i again wanted to thank you guys from Tora Tavatan for coming here today on the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'll link all of your Twitters and Tora Tavatan down in the video description. But again, thank you guys so much for joining and providing some great insight on this attack strategy. I'm sure a lot of viewers will give it a shot and uh, we really do appreciate it. Do you guys have any uh, final words here? Carbon, thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, come on with you today. Uh, we've you know, we've been following you for a long time. Uh, have, have seen you play, you know, before you were primarily a caster. Um, it's it's an honor to be here. We all appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you. And thank you very much to all of our fans and supporters out there. Yeah, thank you, Garbon, for having us. Um, it, was, it was a blast. I appreciate it again, guys. Thank you so much. And if, if you guys want to go follow Toro Tavatan, make sure you go follow their Twitter down there. They'll be competing in many more esports wars in the leagues to come. Even though the World Championship is out of the reach, they're going to be trying, I'm sure, again for the next year's one and all the competition. And I'm sure we may see more of this attack strategy in the future. But anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content. See you guys tomorrow.